Well, this is not a good thing. This is a little bit way too close to home right now. Filling up with water up there and hopefully getting this fire put out. Shoot, I can see the fire. And the wind is blowing our way. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Come on, phone. You need to come home. This wind is blowing right at us and this is a big fire. You just need to get home because if we need to leave, we need to leave real soon. This is way too close. Yeah, come on. Bye. This is bad. The wind is as you can see, blowing right towards my house. So, for if anything happens, bless you house. You were a good home. I hope they get it out. Pray, pray to the Lord right now that they put this fire out soon. Get it under control. Okay, let's just hope they get this done. I'm gonna go worry about the rest of the stuff I gotta worry about. All right guys, so, guys the fire looks better, uh, but still really concerning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go drive up there and I'm gonna take a look and I'm gonna see what I can see. Uh, it's just up this little bit here. Cars are moving, so I'm going to drive up there and have a look. And we'll see. We'll see really how close it actually is. Got the time lapse camera up on a battery backup, so it should run the whole time. Oh, I forgot what I was going to tell you. If you look close, you can see all the you can see all the ash falling down. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it. I can see it. water from up there. Hopefully dumping it over there. So anyway I wanted to show you the ash falling down. It's kind of interesting. Still never got this done up here. Okay let's go see what we got. Alright guys. These guys don't know how to drive. Anyway. So the ash and smoke is quite heavy up here. Uh, my house is right there. There is the camera time lapsing. It's about a mile away. It looks a little better than it did earlier. Oh, there we go. 
that's better. I definitely see some houses up there, but it's blowing this way. get a better steady shot of my house. Oh, well, it looks like they they got it a lot better under control, but it's definitely a scary situation when it's so close to your house. It's hot today. Alright, well, it's still close enough to be concerning, but it looks like they got it a lot more under control now, so I'm gonna head back home and I got everything packed in case we need to leave, but I can hope they get it, uh, I can hope they, they got it under control. Look at all the fire trucks down there. It. It's definitely a concerning thing. You guys can see how dry it is. Look how dry this is. It's kind of green, but it's starting to die. It'll burn real fast. All right. Well, maybe we'll wait and catch one more helicopter, dump some water. It's kind of cool. There's the water water tank up there. Uh, there you go. So there's always a water reserve up there for this particular actual incident. Oh, I just missed it. Just dropped some more. And, uh, yeah. Smoke is pretty heavy. I'm feeling it in my lungs, even just standing here. All right, let's catch him. Dump one more. Look at the uh, the vortex right there. Can you guys see that? Fire vortex from the wind. It's hard to see, but it's there. I can't quite tell how good the shot is because the sun is so bright. That sun is hot though. Almost feels like you're standing in front of a campfire. But it's not the uh it's not the fire I'm feeling, it's just that crazy heat right there. Let's see if this guy dumps some. Great shot. My prayers go out to those whose homes are over there. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my house, which appears to be in fairly safe condition. Uh, it looks like they're getting it under control, but the wind can pick up and anything can change. Anything can change. I actually think I see some flame down there. Yeah, I, I can't see on my camera very well. It's 
way too close for comfort over there. Alright, we're all hanging out watching Roger, watching see. this time lapse video. Roger, I can't see. Uh, I live see. live video from the uh, the interwebs. I can't see it. Can Hold see it steady. It. Hold it steady. I can't, everybody's moving. Yeah, I know. Elijah, do you like the fire? Yeah. Are you That's are you, are you freaking out? No. No? Oh, Riley. Bad. Riley, are you freaking yes. out? No. I'm not freaking Anyone out. Anyone freaking out? No! No! Wait, Are you like, freaking out, Mom? Like no. A little concerning, like though. Like it's a little concerning, so like we can go look outside and see the like see the smoke and the stuff falling out of the sky. But it actually looks a lot better than it did. Mommy, it looks much more better than usual. <laughs> sure. Fire? Do you like fire? Yeah. Do you like I it? Do you like it when it burns it. your house down? No. Say no. No. Well, what if we do get our house burned down? Well, that's why we packed a few things we need and we can get out of here. If, we can always we can always get more stuff, but we can't save ourselves. Well, if your printer gets broken. Yeah, I know. I was running my printer and the power keeps shutting off, so I guess I just have to wait. I don't know. Just wait. Well, what if even though I got it on a backup, it still keeps that. tripping it for some reason. I don't know why. Alright guys, it's hard to tell, but you can see the ash, the white specks. That's all ash. You can see it on the side of the van. I mean, it's not terrible. But it's not great. The wind was picking up as kind of freaking me out a little bit but uh, oh you know I think we'll be alright well the wind picked up it seems to have gotten a little bit worse not really a little bit better close for comfort. <clears throat> the wind was blowing pretty hard this way, so it's not great, but uh, it's what we got to deal with. You can see flames over there. It's not good. It's not good at all.
can actually feel the water that was dripping out of the helicopters. That's kind of interesting. And they all three, all four of them came back. That's a good thing. It's definitely not a pleasant sight. I was less worried, but then I got a little more worried. I'm still concerned. This cloud of smoke is wild with the sun, with the sun uh, setting. Yeah, they must be flying over here for water. I can actually feel the water droplets. Definitely a sucky thing, I tell you. Gee whiz, man. Gee whiz. So in case we're wondering at all, this is how I'm doing my time lapse. Got a GoPro connected to a battery pack. I'll stabilize this. There we go. I got a GoPro connected to this battery pack and then I'm just doing one second 4K time lapse. Because that is wild. It would be nice if they could get it under control fast. It's already been a couple hours. Hi Malachi. All right, something happened with my camera, so we'll try it again. <laughs> okay, guys. What? What are we doing? Um, eating tacos in this fire outside. Yeah, today is uh, June, Saturday, June 4th, 7.45 p.m. And today, we had a fire last time, like when we went to the pool, but Daddy called us and said it was very bad. And then now, the, and like a few minutes ago, it just started. And that's a low again. Still going though, huh? Yeah. Are you are you guys scared? No. 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 Yeah, right. Everyone's in running around. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah. And now nobody's scared. Yeah, right. Well, I just still scared. So anyway, here's here's what it looks like. We're eating tacos. Mommy cooked us good tacos. It's still it's still brewing out there pretty pretty good. But I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my tacos. I just thought I'd capture the moment while we're eating a good dinner. Where's Lily? Mommy! On the couch sleeping. Oh, I, I told, told yeah, I forgot that she was. Let me take a look. Oh, Miss Lily. Look at her. I want to see the fire. Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> All right, let's eat some dinner, kids. Oh, by the way, earlier my printer shut off and I couldn't figure out why. It's because apparently there was a car accident which knocked down a pole, which then shorted out and started the fire. So there you go. Now we know. Hey, nice tag. Mm. Yeah? I'm yeah. Again. I know. Oh, it's not too bad, but it's not too great. Let's eat our dinner. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's another day, man. Yeah, it's too close to vacation time. It, it's too close. It's a little close for Mommy comfort. Mommy and Daddy, we might go to Daddy's work today. Like, probably after dinner, probably. Yeah, I just started bigot in. Oh, what and a, my turn. What a and face. Why? Well, I don't know. What, Dexter? What, what, what's that water coming from? What'd you say? What's that water coming from? What's the regular water? The water is coming from... Mm, that looks like some. I don't know, but apparently they just sprayed water what's pretty close to us here, so from the helicopters. Hey, we're gonna pack everything up. We're gonna go up to my work, and we're gonna hang out there. 
And we're going to pray everything is safe and sound. Plan? And we're going to pray. Y'all ready? Pinky oh, promise. Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Pinky. Oh, all right, fine, fine, all right. There. Yeah. There. Uh, I don't promise that everything will be fine. I say that's the plan. Anyway. Do um, Not yet. Okay. Soon. So we're going to load everything up that we need. A few things we need. But uh, apparently there's 200 acres at the moment and it's not even contained, so. That's bad. That's a little concerning. All right, guys, the sun is almost set. It's, uh, I don't know what time it was earlier. It's currently 8.09 p.m. Apparently there's 200 acres burning and it's not contained at all. So that's a little concerning. Uh, so we're gonna pack up and we're gonna head out for the night because with these helicopters driving around, we're not gonna be uh, not gonna be doing anything good anyway. So this guy is spraying his house down with water. I guess that's smart. But. Uh, yeah, it's the only choice we have at the moment. Uh, right this second, it looks pretty good, but I don't, uh, you know, you don't see black smoke or anything, but that's, look how much smoke is right there, that's bad. So anyway, apparently they've got this road blocked off. Can't go through that way, which is how we need to get to where we need to go. Oh, there's still people up there. So anyway, um, that's it. This is Russ from my house. Hopefully my house will be here when I get back. If not, I'll bring the few things I need and the rest of it. May it rest in peace. Alright guys, it is, uh, what time is it? 8.30 p.m. And it's starting to get dark, the sun is setting, and now we're really getting a good visual for the fire. So, let me go up here so we can see it. Camera's still recording, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, we definitely have fire and flame. These helicopters are getting really close, like crazy close. Intense. So we're gonna evacuate, we're gonna leave, we're gonna go so we don't have to worry about it, and uh, hopefully we can come back tomorrow and there'll be something here. Man, this helicopter's closed. This guy is like literally on top of me. good and that's concerning. It usually is windy during the evening when the hot air and the cold air are mixing and kind of flowing around but uh, anyway okay enough said. All right guys it's 8 44 p.m. everyone's loaded in the van. Helicopters are flying way too close. I have a feeling my time-lapse camera is not going to pick up anything in the dark anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it quits. I'm going to come back to the house and get some stuff. Bring it up to where I'm going. I'm going to work. We can stay there for now. And uh, yeah, looks like uh, oh, it looks like that road is actually open. So we might be able to drive that way to get where we want to go. You ready to go? Yep. Are you scared? Happy? Yeah. All right. Very good. I'm scared, honey. All right. Very good. I know that we're not going that way. All right. Much love to you guys. I have to ride my other thing up there with you guys, so I'll see you there. Okay, mommy's gonna follow me. Okay, I love you guys. 
Okay, love you, Mom. Love you. Miss you. I'll see you shortly. Miss you. I'll see you shortly. We're gonna have a party, watching movies, and eating popcorn. It's gonna be great. Yay, party! All right, party. let me go get my stuff on. I'll be ready to go. All right, guys. It's 10:30 at night. Uh, it appears they got the fire out, but my goodness, it's smoky. I'm actually having a hard time breathing right now. You probably can't see it on camera, but it's very, very smoky. But it looks like they got this thing put out. I came back home to get a few more things, uh, and I think we're good. So, tomorrow morning when we come back, hopefully a lot of this smoke will be cleared up so it's not so uh, hard on our lungs, because I'm actually having a hard time breathing. All right, God bless. Be safe. Much love. See you later. All right, guys, it's about 11.30 a.m. Uh, on the, I guess, 5th. Helicopter's still flying around. But uh, you can clearly see the burn. see the burn. Now apparently they've only got like 30% containment so it's just burning slowly through the brush but that's not good. So I have a feeling we're fairly safe but we did leave now we're back. Uh, we're gonna stay here and eat lunch for a while. If we leave, apparently we may not be able to get back in. So, I don't know really what to do there. Looks like... Looks like they're, uh... I can't tell if they're letting people in or if they're turning them around. Let's see. Do 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 Can you get in or can you get out? Anyway, that's it. All right, you can clearly see it smoking still right there. Smoldering, still, still burning. All right, guys, it's 6-6-2016, 6, 6, 7.20 in the morning. You can see this is, uh, as you can see the hills are all burnt up there. So what happened was, there was a car accident somewhere up here, hit a telephone pole, telephone pole fell over, shorted out the electrical line, sparks flying everywhere and started the fire. There you can see it's all burnt up right there. It's a little bit charred. Uh, yeah, all these hills are burnt. All the hills over there are burnt. Pretty burnt up, huh, Riley? Yeah, it's pretty burnt. And we're right next to one that's burnt. There you go, this is all burned down. So. Yeah. I wonder where the car accident was, Riley. And I think it just spread all over the place. Yeah, it definitely spread all over the place. Maybe that car accident was right here somewhere. Oh, look, this is Oh, yeah, probably right there. Because uh, that was the, uh, that back there really was the new transformer for the pole. So, anyway, uh, yeah. It's pretty wild. So I'm not going to drive right now over to the uh, 
other area, but you can see this whole hill right here. It's just all charred up. That's pretty burnt up, Riley. Yep. Wait. If it's burned up, it turns white and there's like and your your school's just on the other side of this road, so they burnt all the way down to there. All right, guys. It's hard to see, but I think I actually see some smoldering going on over there. Some burnt stuff over there. Lots and lots of burnt stuff everywhere else. This whole land is just shot. Alright, so this is the location. Apparently, a car hit this telephone pole. Some One of these telephone poles and knocked it down and started the fire Let's go across the road so I think the the car accident was actually right here you can actually see there's a muffler still on the ground and I'm pretty sure that the accident happened right here took out this telephone pole and the electrical line shorted out you can see some new lines running there and that is actually what started this fire so it's, in, it's, in, it's impressive. It goes way back on the other side back there, but I can't see much from here. But it's kind of crazy. Alright guys. It's kind of hard to see, but the whole area, all the way back, all the way back into there, this whole area right here was completely charred. It's not easy to see because of the sun, I apologize, but my house is over that hill. So we just need to burn down the road a little bit. We're kind of in a remote location. I don't live in such a nice remote location, but it's pretty cool up here. Actually, I think if you go up to that house, you can see the ocean from here across that mountain range. It's kind of neat. Anyway. This whole area, you know, look at all this brush. It would have just burned right on over all this stuff pretty fast. This stuff's pretty dry, so. Anyway, that's, that's the conclusion. It's not, uh, it's not easy to see, but it's out here. Alright, as you guys can see, this is a private park. The gate's been pried open, and this entire section of gate has literally just been cut off because they needed to get the fire trucks in here. So, let's go have a look. There's a staircase right there. Let's go have a look. It smells really burnt over here. This is a pretty little area. I wonder if we can get a basketball court over there. Let's go see if we can see much. Oh yeah. So, that hill over there the one behind it some, and then all this. You can clearly see it's... You can clearly see it's burnt up. So, it, it smells. You can see they cut the branches off here. It looks like there's a walkway down through there. But that whole... You can't see it, but that whole area over there is burnt as well. Kind of the sun is in the wrong position right now, but... pretty intense really all right guys so uh, it's the 10th 610 and uh, we're here look shooting some very silly photographs me and David this is David I work with David say hi David and uh, I decided uh, to film this because what's cool is the telephone pole that was hit is the one right there so that one, the yellow tagged one, that's a brand new pole. And the cords, the cabling, goes to a house back this drive. And what's, what's interesting is the fact that uh, the cable is on the ground. So 
it's right here. The old cable, they didn't even pick up the old cable as, as, as of right now anyway. And, uh, and here it is. It's, it's laying across the ground. You can see it. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, actually. Bugs? I don't think anything is alive here, I think. So. Look at this. Did the bird just shit on me? <laughs> no. <laughs> is that going to be in your video? Probably. <laughs> so I don't have time to edit this stuff. <laughs> so there's the cables. And uh, who knows? I could probably. Hey, hey, David. You know, there's probably about a hundred bucks worth of copper here if we wanted to. Look at that. That's telephone wire. So that's not it. This telephone wire. No, this is it. The 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 one you're standing. This is the power. This is the power cable. That's the one. I'm gonna that touch it. Hopefully, happened. it don't die. Yeah. And then this is just hanging on there. This is telephone and internet and stuff. We got it melted together. It's really, it's really crazy. So, I didn't get good footage of the other side of the path, but it burned a ton more than I took video of. And, uh, yeah, so uh, earlier, well, actually, it's on the other side, you can't even see it, but anyway, I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought I'd show you. So, that's all I got. Everybody's safe and sound. I don't think anybody died. I don't even know if any houses got burnt. I don't think there were any injuries. No, I don't think anybody. Well, actually, there were some firefighter injuries because of the terrain, they there said, were. but nobody died. So that's, I'm very thankful for that. So, anyway, everything's good. Except for the ground is a little burnt. Maybe a house or two. I really don't know. But uh, my house is fine. It's a little far away, but it's still scary. You saw the footage. The wind picked up. Uh, if the wind would pick up, it would be at my house in, in minutes because this stuff would just burn like crazy. And it gets really windy out here. So thankfully it died down the day of there. So peace and love. God bless. Have a good day. Bye. All right. So this sign, this is where it was. And uh, the post is completely burnt off the ground, which is really kind of interesting the other one the only one the only pole it's holding is the other one that's kind of crazy David's taking some pictures I'll uh, I'll use them uh. that's kind of cool though wow